Let's go, boys. Yeah! Dodgers Nation rejoicing after they beat the Mets to advance to the World Series. For Jays fans, there will be a number of former Jays in the World Series on both sides when the Yankees take on the Dodgers. Tim Meza, Marcus Stroman both play for New York, whereas Kevin Kiermeyer and Teoscar Hernandez will be repping the Dodgers. And while we wait for that series to start, that WNBA season wrapped on Sunday night. 28 years in the making! The New York Liberty are WNBA champions! For the first time in franchise history, the New York Liberty are WNBA champions. It was a dramatic finale to the finals that went to overtime. And big shout out to Canada's own Bridget Carlton, who had a career year playing for the Minnesota Lynx. She joins only a handful of players to make at least 93 pointers in a regular season and at least 23 pointers in a playoffs in the same year. And right after the game, WNBA Toronto, their Twitter account tweeting out that, hey, they're going to get that championship in 2026 when they officially launch. And the year before, there's some other exciting sports news for women in this country is that the Northern Super League, it will officially launch. That is the first professional women's soccer league in our country. And on Monday, AFC Toronto announced their first signing. What's it been like today? You know, the news broke that not only are you the first player to sign with AFC Toronto, but the first player to sign in the Northern Super League. Yeah, well, honestly, when I initially signed, I didn't know that that was the case. So uh, I did find out, you know, a couple of weeks ago that that was happening. So I'm elated overall just to even be a part of the program and uh, here in Toronto, but also uh, to be the first signing with the NSL. It, it's hard to put into words. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. It's a dream come true. I'm ready for what's next. The Raptors home opener is on Wednesday when they host the Cavaliers and it looks like they will be without a number of players. RJ, uh, both of them, they went through practice today. Uh, no contact, no live play. Uh, for RJ, it's a day-to-day -day at this point. And uh, uh, Jacoby is uh, some week to 10 days behind him. Bruce did not practice with the team. Uh, he's progressing well. Uh, he's starting to do some stuff on the court. Uh, last week, it was just like spa shots. Now he's doing a little bit of movement, so getting better every day. Raptors RJ Barrett hosted a Halloween party for the club on the weekend, so here are the hard-hitting questions I know you all wanted to know. Really important question, what did you dress up for for the Halloween party? Um, I really didn't really dress up for real, but uh, I was supposed to be Jason uh, from Friday 13th. What were you for the Halloween party? I was a pirate. I was a pirate. This time I was a little bit on a uh, more serious note, I was a picky blinder this time, so um, <laughs> Thomas Shelby. <laughs> I was Luigi. How did that go? Found it once. It looked great, I think. And some Leafs news for you. The Leafs heading out on the road to take on Columbus tomorrow night, where head coach Craig Berube giving an update on goaltender Joseph Wall, who has not played in the regular season so far. It looks like he will make his regular season debut after he's been dealing with lower back tightness. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.